He ate it like that. Like that. That fish hopped around in about three piles of goose crap. There we go, baby. That was a big one, too. That was freaking awesome. Oh my god. This is the whopper plopper I'm going to be using. Wow, what a beautiful morning outside. Gosh, it feels great out here. That's one good thing about getting up a little bit earlier. So it feels a lot better outside. It's pretty nice too. As you guys can tell, I'm actually in the old kicking mobile because I actually dropped my new truck off at the shop. So that one's gonna be getting done. And I'm gonna be driving this one for a little while. So pretty much they're gonna have my new truck for a few days. They're actually gonna be putting on. I'm not even gonna tell you what, I'm, what they're gonna be put on. Cause I wanna make a video. I'll, I'll do like an upgrade, updated upgrade truck video, which will be coming out very soon. But today we have something very exciting, guys. I have been pretty much in Atlanta for a few months now. Let's hop in my car. So pretty much, I don't have too many ponds out here. And there's one thing that I really wanted to do, which was go find some new ponds because I need some new water to fish. So I'm gonna be filming a few videos today. But the one that we're gonna be filming right now is a Google Maps fishing video. So I'm pretty much going to be looking on Google Maps, seeing the ponds near me. Just about every person's done this challenge. I've seen a lot of people do it recently. I was like, man, I need some new ponds. Let's just go ahead and film this today. So we're gonna be going to our first location. I'm gonna be tying up my rods and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use. But let's go ahead and get this video started. We are at our first lake right now, our first little pond. I was looking on Google Maps and I found this little area and there's like, it splits into three different places. Pretty much, it's all different. Like, it's kind of like three different little ponds connected. I've never been here before, so this is gonna be kind of exciting. I'm going to start off with top water this morning. It's like seven o'clock. I was debating on a top water hopper or a whopper plopper, but since I want to be covering a lot of water, I'm going to be using a whopper plopper today because I can slow that bait down and I can also move it fast if I would like. This is the whopper plopper I'm going to be using, just a little baby white one. So I'm going to be able to cover water. I'm going to be able to move it fast if I want to. And also I can slow it down and rip it um, just in case these bass are a little bit more finicky. This is going to be fun right here, guys. Here's a little close up shot of this whopper plopper. If you guys haven't thrown one, it's I really love it just because I can slow it down. I can work it fast. I can do a little bit of whatever. I can still cover water if I want. And that's going to be great. It's going to be awesome today. I actually have a top water popper on my rod right now. I was going to use this, but then again, I don't even know if there's fish in this pond. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm pretty sure it's actually a neighborhood pond. I've never been here before. So we're just going to go try it out. We're just trying new areas and that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to cut this off, throw this plopper on, and then we're going to head out to this pond. Tying me the old uni knot, as you guys hear me talk about in the video, it's pretty much the only knot I ever use on almost all, almost all lures. All right, got my GoPro, got my vlog camera in my hand, my keys, and I'll eat that later. I love and hate these chest mounts. It's like I have a dang bra on while I'm fishing. It's very hard to hook set with these things on. I know it, like when everybody uses them, it doesn't seem like it, but it's kind of difficult to hook set with these bad boys on because you always hit the GoPro. All right, this is going to be our first impression on this first little pond here. I see some riprap over here. Wow, actually a lot of riprap. I see some activity in the middle of the water. Man, let's see what we can catch. All right, that is probably the freakiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I literally got scared and there's like a school of bass. There's a school of bass. I think they saw me. There was literally like more than five bass. There's probably six or seven. If they wouldn't have saw me, then I would have caught one. Well, we know there's bass in here. That, that's our first sign. So there's 100% fish in here. We got bass, we got some other activities, some other, other fish. It's very good, especially some, some action like that where you see multiple, they're in a little school. That is that is a good sign right there. They're just roaming the bank as I thought they would be this morning. Little bait fish running around. Oh man, that's some good signs guys right here. I knew it, oh! I saw when I landed, he hit the bank a second ago. He's about a pound and a half. First bite. He's 
He ate it like that. No way. Yeah, baby. Maybe we just figured out something. Oh, he's about two pounds too. He just came off, spit the plopper. Wow. I'm proud of that though. I wish we would have got him on the bank, but I'm proud of what I just saw. Oh my gosh. That was a giant. He just swirled on it. He never hit it. He just swirled on it. How am I missing fish? That was actually a freaking toad. He was right under that dock. Should be a fish right here. Like that. Just like that. Little baby. But I will take him for the first fish on the bank of the day. <laughs> Little tiny guy. All right, I'm letting you go because, <laughs> golly. Well, that is the first fish of the day. I am not gonna lie, that fish hopped around in about three piles of goose crap. So I'm not complaining about it jumping in the water. But that is our first fish of the day, first fish on the bank. I missed that big one a second ago, and we're gonna keep going around and catching some more guys. We have a good bit of the pond to cover, and I've really figured out how to work this bait to where they're actually biting it now. As you can tell at the beginning, I was really reeling this bait, and that's usually not how I reel it, or that's usually not how I work the bait. The reason I was doing that is because I'm at a new area, I'm at a new pond, I didn't even know if there was bass here. I was trying to cover as much water as possible. So now that I know that there's fish in the area, and I really know how to catch them with that slower retrieve with me popping that whopper plopper, we're gonna get a lot more bites. There we go, baby. Our first fish on the bank. I called that fish. I knew there was one sitting there. Oh my God, there's another one. Oh, <laughs> put on a little show. Next cast in the same spot. There's probably a little school of them there. As you guys could tell at the beginning, I found a little school. There we go, baby. Two back-to-back -back casts. That is, you cannot beat that. These are the ones you gotta watch out for, guys. Just a little heads up. <laughs> Oh man, guys, second fish of the day, little baby guy, but second cast, two casts in a row. Let's see if we can make it a third. I know there's little schools of bass roaming in here because I did see some at that first pond. Wow, look at that, what a beautiful fish. Pretty healthy too, you can tell they're not, you know, super, super skinny. Still got a little bit of tummy on them and there's some bait fish in here, but wow, that's awesome. Let's get a release on this guy. There you go, Jim Bob. There we go, baby. It's a better one. It's better than the last two. That's for sure. Ah, uh, you about the size of that last one. Oh, there's a school. Look, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's about five with them. Wow, that's exactly how every single fish I've caught this morning has been in a school like that. I hate that I drug them all back to me and they saw me, but that is, that is exactly what these fish are doing. They're in little baby schools, roaming the banks because all this bait that's pushed up on the bank here in the morning. And you have a beautiful little fish. Man, these fish are so small. We're gonna have to go find a new pond here soon, but I do enjoy catching these on a little plopper, especially when you can find them in little schools like that. All right, buddy. There he goes. Oh, he hit me. Come on. Oh my gosh. Yes. Fish number four. Give me number five, baby. And that is enough to call this pond. Dink City <laughs> and probably not come back here for a while. So that being said, we are about to head to another pond, people. I am about to hop in my truck. We're gonna go on Google Maps and find us a new area. I want to add a variety in this video. So I, I fished two ponds with my grandpa growing up where I pretty much learned how to fish. The one that's usually always in my videos and then this one that I'm here at. I haven't been here since December, sometime in December, so we're gonna be trying it out today. There's actually some huge fish in here. I've caught multiple nines, one that I believe is pushing 10. There's a tons of, there's tons of big fish and it's a really, really, really small pond. So we're about to get out and try this thing. I might put on my little Texas rig crawl and kind of just go run that thing at the top of the water in the middle of the water column and also at the bottom and see if we can catch some fish and teach you guys different ways to use that. We're gonna go out here and see what we can do. I haven't been here in a while, so I don't know if the fish are gonna be huge, but I know there's some big ones in here, so hopefully we can run into a giant. First thing we need to do is go in my little multi-tackle box. So I got three right here. I have two black and red, which is one of my favorite colors in dirty water. And then I have one that's green pumpkin. I'm probably gonna rig up with this black and red. I'm almost out of the green pumpkin, so we'll probably be using these. All right, guys, so this is a little Texas rig I have on with that little speed crawl that's actually black and red. I'm gonna be reeling this thing at the top of the water a little bit. Also throwing around some of this structure. Oh, it looks so good. Gosh, that is a big one too. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> there we go, baby. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Solid two and a quarter. 
Oh, that's a beautiful fish right there. Look how he eats it. Look how he ate it right there. And that's why I stopped by this pond. Look how thick and healthy that fish is. I cannot believe these fish are so healthy at this little pond right here. Gosh, it's been a while, but that is a beautiful bass right there. You could not complain with one like that. Let's get a release on this guy. I do not mind catching some like that. That's why we changed locations to here. There he goes. freaking awesome right where that shade line is i was reeling that crawl at the top of the water absolutely hammered i've only been here for just a few minutes we're gonna keep covering water on this pond and throw that crawl around that's why i throw that crawl like that because it catches fish like that <sighs> let's see if we can get some more we're all reeling it at the top like a baby horny toad man cannot beat that let's see if there's another one here god got another one hooked up Get up here, boy. Man, these quality are much better than that pond I just fished. This one's not nothing big, but gosh, I'll take them. Still healthy. Beautiful, healthy little bass right there. Get them back in the water. Oh, that bite is so exciting. You got this little soft boss, you, you, you can just let them eat it, just reel back and just jack them. Got him. Nothing big that time, but I will take them. I will take them for the third fish in about five minutes. <laughs> Gosh, these fish are so healthy. That makes me so happy to see that this pond's still healthy and has some healthy fish. Gosh, that's a stubby little fat one. Wow. You can get a little guy grow to be 10 pounds. This is dangerous right here with all this shade. I'm gonna stay way off this bank. Pitch up to that tree. I'm about to get slammed right here. Oh, I did, but he got it too late. Get up here, boy. Get up here, boy. A little trick, guys. I stayed way off that bank to where they couldn't see me. I knew it was super shallow water in this corner. I stayed way off the bank. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna release them on this side so I don't have to go by the water and spook any more fish so I could possibly double up and catch another one. Here this baby goes. Still gonna be going with the black and red. This water's so stained here. I really like this black and red color. It's definitely one of my favorite colors of all time. For dirty water, especially, it's my favorite color. This and June Bug. As you can tell, staying way off the bank. Pitching right up in there. I know there's some more. That's the thing, these fish think they're hiding from me, but they're really not. I'm hiding from them. Uh-oh, he just hammered me right there. Oh, man. Don't tell me he took my tails. Oh no, he took one of my tails. I do have one more green pumpkin one. If you steal my tail, I'm stealing you, man. Get out of here. You're a little tiny one too. Being rude to me, stealing my tails. And I've got him skimmed his eye. Good thing I didn't get it. Get it all the way, there you go. Freaking tiny dude. Oh my God. There he is. <laughs> what in the world? Was that a bass? If that was a bass. That's probably the tiniest one I've ever caught. Oh my god. Alright, people, I kind of want to talk about you know what rods and reels I use. You guys have been talking about that. I thought I'd do that in this video because I want to start doing that more and I want to pretty much start showing you guys what I'm using and this and this and that. So I'm gonna start off with the Whopper Popper rod that I have here. I have it on a concept day, and the rod is actually a Defy by 13 fishing, and this is a 7-1 medium heavy fast and i got the little little whopper plopper on there so pretty much today you know it's a little bit different i plan on going out there covering a lot of water with it and that's what i did and then i kind of adjusted to the conditions and started ripping that thing a lot slower if i would have went out there with that little popper that i had i, I would have caught him pretty good but i would have fished a lot slower i probably would have been out there an extra hour and i just wanted to cover a lot of water and even i like i need to figure out if there's even fish in that place in general i have that on some spider wire as well um, i use braid on all my top waters i i usually don't use mono I'm not a mono guy, I'm mostly a braid guy. And this one, I have the old Concept Z by 13 Fishing. This is a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio reel on 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. This is actually in Vizex. And the rod's actually a fake chrome. And this is a 7.1 medium heavy extra fast. The bait that I have, which I love now, I've been talking about it a lot, and it's just such a great bait. So amazing for ponds, just because I can work it on top, on the bottom. And I, pro I proved that concept today out on the pond. And um, I just have a little standard old lead weight. I have a little bobber stop right here. Then just a little EWG hook. And the bait that I'm using is actually a little speed crawl by Zoom. 
and I use green pumpkin today and also black and red, which is my favorite dirty water color. Usually green pumpkin, I'm gonna fade towards, you know, more, more of a clear water. It's got a little bit of visibility and the black and red and the June bug, I kind of fade towards dirty water. That's everything I use today, guys. I'm actually about to head to the hospital and hang out with my grandpa for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for your prayers. Uh, sent out to him and everything. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna go hang out with him for a bit, film some videos later tonight. But overall, thank you guys so much for the support. I wish I could have got over to some more ponds, but I just got a really hectic, busy day that I have to go get a lot done. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys wanna see another Google Maps fishing challenge, be sure to like this video. Comment below if you wanna see another one and suggest some fishing challenges below. But thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll catch you all in the next video. I got scared like the weatherman, uh I cried cars, getting hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with hands, uh I get it, get it, uh, anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I cried cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh, every day, uh